Dr. Ayman Fakhri from Alex. I've seen him before doing uh, endovenous laser ablation and uh, he stand in one of the point in the middle of Alex saying show up your leg again it's now for endovenous laser waiting for you on the beach with your bikini so let us hear the tips and tricks of endovenous laser ablation from Dr. Ayman Fakhri thank you sir good afternoon again uh, now, excuse me, I will bother you thinking about safety tools, techniques for successful EVLT. Why laser? This is a very important question. Why we prefer performing laser? Let's discuss the patient opinion. This was published uh, in Dermatology News discussing or comparing two modality, ver uh, surgery versus uh, endovenous ablation and showed that a remarkable 89% of both groups said they were satisfied with treatment to undergo each procedure again if immediately necessary. They don't mind to do in either technique. But in a longitudinal study on symptoms and quality of life of low, in lower limb viruses, patients with surgical treatment we observed that the recurse veins patient experienced more severe symptoms after surgery, pain, and VECSS uh, were important factors uh, <clears throat> affecting patient quality of life. Therefore, effectiveness post-operative pain in management is usually needed. So if we take the side of the patient, we'll choose best modality and that give him uh, less pain and better quality of life. That's why I choose laser. Uh, <clears throat> I uh, want to ask this question. Do I use my machine probably? If I uh, want to answer the question, I have to go through 10 questions. Do I use a dangerous machine? Yes. Our uh, machine is very dangerous and it is of type 4 uh, laser machines that's very dangerous. It is very dangerous and very injurious to the eye and skin. That's why please protect your eyes. Uh, all eyes in the theater must be protected carefully during the whole procedure. And the room also. Check no reflection, uh, no reflection at all uh, in the operating uh, theater, no uh, inflammable gases. Take care for the safety of all the attendees. Question number two, what is the type of laser I use? For endovenous laser, we have to uh, use the diode laser. For exo laser, we have either the diode or the KTP, or our, uh, both are good for management. Now, what is the proper wavelength? For endovenous laser, we have a big uh, range from 980 up to 1940 nanometers. But uh, for exolaser, it ranges from 630 to 980 nanometer for diode and for KTV about 570. This is the suitable waveform for laser. This is a very important question. Do you have to use proper laser fibers? Yes. These are three types, the bare head and the jacket tip and the radial tip. This is the uh, all run through and all are available in the market, but the best type is the radial uh, head, especially with the two rings. As you see here, this is the radial tip and with the two rings. If you see carefully, no propagated thermal wave uh, from the tip of the laser, just around the radius. No forward propagation. This is very important. Don't be afraid for deep veins. The liberated energy acts where it is uh, stead uh, at. What are the, uh, the proper laser fiber? Again, this is the double ring, as we said. The total energy 
This is the calculation of the energy needed, ranged from uh, 3,000, around 3,000, and about 6 to 800, uh, 6 to 80 joule per centimeter. This is a very important question. Could I use, my, uh, could I do my procedure under local anesthesia? Some uh, of uh, physicians do it under general anesthesia or spinal anesthesia. I like to describe those who do it under general anesthesia as a, that gentleman who uh, brought a very nice refrigerator but st uh, still drinks from his Ola. No general anesthesia. Please do it under local tumescent anesthesia. When should I wear protective glasses? It should be all the attendees should wear their glasses and every wavelength has a suitable glass for that wavelength. But for uh, endolaser, uh, it is possible not to wear your uh, glasses as the, the energy within the patient body. What vein can I ablate? All vein could be ablated. This is accessible vein, glassness, anterior accessory vein, small softness, perforators, of course, recurrent varicose veins could, all could be treated. This is a very important question, and I think this is a cornerstone of our talk today. Where do we stop from the deep veins? Some uh, colleagues and professors like to about two centimeters from the cephalic junction. Is it correct? As we see, the modern fibers does not propagate wave uh, or thermal change forward. Why we go for two centimeter? This long stump will initiate recurrence. And I do recommend phenothermal junction. This is not my opinion, but this is a very important paper. Uh, endovenous laser therapy for great sufferance VN. Three years results of randomized prospective study comparing zero and two centimeter ablation distance from the deep veins. Who write this paper? The, uh, uh, the authors are very big authorities. Reitz, Eberhard Rappé, uh, Sandra Rappé, uh, uh, Dr. Bernier, and Yeldis Morinos. All this authority came to the conclusion there was no difference between the two groups according to the uh, satisfaction with treatment. However, long stump of great sufferance vein was associated with higher risk of recurrence in long-term result follow-up. This is a very nice uh, paper published a few days ago uh, in the Venus News by Professor Rag. Uh, he published uh, his paper, Laser Crossectomy versus Infra Epigastric Closure Randomized Trial, and came that, please, you can do it and you can do laser cross-sectomy. Don't go away from the saphenothermal junction. Uh, Dr. Stanger and both Hartman again published a paper. Uh, GSV stump, more than one centimeter, had, tendon, had tended to produce more recurrence among the author's patients. Here again, therefore, same uh, procedure. The procedure recommended the position of uh, the probe uh, 15 to put in mind, must be revised. And this is one of our paper also published uh, last year. Last question. Could I apply or direct from the perforator. After answering these questions, I go with uh, my dear actress, Shwikar. If you answer these questions, now you master Elvit. And before I, uh, I go, I have good news for you. Uh, 
Surgery Conference and the